what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great you're all doing well and welcome back to this new episode and in this episode i'm going to review another masterpiece from an amazing house so before i start my review let me confess that i cannot pronounce the name of this house okay and i cannot pronounce the name of this fragrance either because this is not the name of a fragrance it's actually a story i'm not good at french at all i tried my best i have wasted like 15 minutes of my life on google translate i typed the name of this house which was somehow uh, doable a little bit easy as compared to the name of the fragrance i cannot pronounce the name of this fragrance so i will just show you the box in the camera and you will know that which fragrance is this for the house i can tell you that this is etat libre d'orange in english and in french it's once again very difficult etat libre de orange something like that but this is the house i'm talking about and the fragrance which i'm going to review here uh, for my own convenience i am going to call it herman but for you the name of the perfume is this i don't know i don't know how to say it this is like uh, herman ms cote i don't know me and blah 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 orange so oh sorry it's ombre so ombre please guys keep the name of your perfumes short and easier to read not all of us are from france or i don't know if it's french or italy i'm even i'm not sure about this i think it's it's french because ombre is like a french word uh, but but this this is impossible for me to read even i cannot read this name in english so sorry for that but just pause the video and so you should know which perfume I'm talking about. And the house is Itat Libre d'Orange. And first of all, let me tell you something about this house. This is one of my the most favorite houses when it comes to creative fragrances. All of their perfumes are so unique. So if you are bored of your like regular uh, designer perfumes, where each and every other perfume is similar to some other famous perfume, uh, if if you are bored of it okay and if you want to explore something new you want some new kind of of aromas you know like you want you want to experience something really creative and new then go to this house itat libre d'orange and you will be amazed until now i have like uh, five or six fragrances from this house and each and every perfume is a masterpiece this perfume is very special for me because the perfumer of this perfume is one of my favorites and this guy is Quentin Bish and Quentin Bish is a perfumer who always comes with something unique something creative and he always experiment he's the guy who don't focus on you know this this natural smelling and my fragrance should be very natural he's not into that thing he focuses on new fragrances new aroma chemicals new experiences you know and that's why i love that guy and all of his fragrances are actually masterpieces this perfume literally smells so nice the house is amazing for creative and uh, uh, you can say for for very new kind of fragrances you can check this house so let's start a review and i will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells so let's start with the presentation first so you'll get this perfume in this box the box is simple it's a paper box but you can see the design design is very creative you can see the name of the house here in the down and then the name of the perfume you can see the design on this side it's white and then here it's black some charcoal earthy kind of design here and then here you will find some ingredient details on this side it's nothing it's just white and then here in the base you will get your barcode and your batch code so even design wise the box is very creative very beautiful simple paper box yet it looks very nice because of the design and now let me show you the bottle so this is their a signature style to put the stickers on the corner so this is the bottle it's like square rectangular cube shaped bottle and the cap here is made of metal it's quite heavy and you will find the branding of the house here on the top the name of the brand beautiful atomizer and beautiful fragrance and you can see once again the name of the perfume and the name of the house here the color of the bottle is light gray it's transparent and it's beautiful on this side of the bottle you can see a, a tapered corner with the name of the brand once again so custom made bottles beautiful presentation very creative box and very creative bottles and this was about the presentation and now let's talk about the fragrance let me give you 
uh, the north baked on first and then i will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells so here in the top you will get pepper wood then there is galbanum there is black currant then in the middle there is geosmin there is rose oil there is olibanum and then in the base there is ambroxan patchouli calypson and vetiver so this is the north breakdown and see the creativity and see the notes here pepperwood something totally new then there is like a uh, geosmin or geosmine uh, this is like earthy kind of note which gives you that uh, wet soil kind of smell then there is olibana there is ambroxan and then there is calypson calypson uh, gives you the smell of watermelon so imagine how creative the fragrance will be so this is the notes breakdown and now i will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells this is a very creative complex and abstract type of scent which changes a lot and different notes will keep hitting your notes in the whole journey there are a lot of things happening here in this perfume at the same time a true niche perfume from a true niche house uh, so here it opens with a blend of wet dust wet soil due to the use of geosmin and then uh, you will get some aquatic watery kind of rose here and then there is like ambroxan there is patchouli and there is pepperwood pepperwood is providing that spearmint papery woody kind of vibe here and then it's topped up with uh, some molecule of calypson and calypson smells like fresh aquatic watermelon so all these things gives it a feel of aquatic salty a uh, watermelon mixed with rose and mixed with that wet soil a very complex uh, it, it's very difficult for me to explain the fragrance here but it smells so unique and so beautiful so you will get some fruits you will get uh, some kind of wet soil there is a rose there is ambroxan so it's fresh it's a little bit woody there is a touch of spearmint here you get that uh, paper kind of vibe very creative and beautiful opening this is dusty mossy earthy sweet aquatic fruity and bubblegummy at the same time there are a lot of things happening in this perfume this is how this perfume opens this is the basic structure of this perfume and then in the journey it keeps changing sometimes it becomes more peppery sometimes it becomes more minty sometimes it becomes more medicinal sometimes it becomes more green it keep changing and you will be enjoying your whole journey a beautiful scent from a beautiful niche house and the best thing about this house is that this is a very affordable niche house they are very good in their pricing and they're not getting crazy with their prices because the price they're charging for this kind of perfumes is really unbelievable and they are trust me very uh, affordable and once i'm going to tell you about the price you will be shocked so this was about the fragrance and then finally in the final dry down it becomes a little bit more green and galbanum starts to shine and you will get that very green floral kind of vibe here in the dry down all other things will be staying with you from the start till end but in the end it becomes a little bit more green so very dusty and wet soil kind of opening with some fruits and brocks and things and then in the dry down uh, this one becomes like a, a more green and floral so this was about the fragrance of this beautiful perfume and now let's talk about the other aspects of this perfume so for the performance this is a great performer the longevity here is around 10 hours easily projections yeah everything is very nice whenever you're going to interact with people they will be able to smell it on you very long lasting even on the next day you will be able to smell some light weaves on your clothes so longevity performance is not an issue here it's a great performer for the gender this is a unisex scent which leans more towards the masculine side i'm sure there will be some ladies who can still pull it off uh, but mainly it's uh, more towards the masculine side because that smell of wet soil will be difficult to handle for some ladies otherwise they can try it out and if they think it works with them it works with them for me it's like unisex which leans more towards masculine side for the age group you should be around the age of like you can say 23 22 23 uh, to rock it otherwise you can try it even if you are like around the age of 19 20 check it out but it's not going to work very well with your personality if you are still very young if you're a teenager so if you're around the age of like 23 24 then you can rock it and it's going to suit your personality so this was about the age group and now uh, let's talk about season or weather so this is a perfume you can use all year around easily summers winters it will work like a magic for the occasion yes this is for some very special occasions uh, and plus 
On the other hand, at the same time, you can also use this perfume in your daily life. Uh, for your office, it can work well if you uh, control the number of sprays. Otherwise, if you're going for a wedding, you're going for like some kind of uh, shopping outside party, you're going for casinos or uh, for pubs, you can drop it. But uh, you can also use this perfume in your dates, uh, but just you have to see that what kind of environment you are living in you know if the weather is nice if your partner like these kind of complex scents then you can rock it otherwise because this is a niche scent you should be very careful with it but it's beautiful and once you start loving it you will never look back and you will never regret so try it out and decide yourself that where you want to use this perfume this was about the occasion and now let's come to the price so you'll get this perfume in 100 ml quantity with this beautiful presentation with this beautiful unique type of bottle and with this beautiful juice and the price i paid for this perfume was i think around 320 or 310 as far as i remember but sometimes you can also find this perfume for like around 280 to 270 dirhams in the gray market and with that kind of price tag this perfume worth each and every penny you're going to spend on this perfume it's a real banger so don't blind buy because this is very unique this is very different it's a niche perfume and there are chances that maybe some people out of you are not going to like it so don't blind buy check it out before buying and if you like complex and creative kind of perfume then you're going to love it i'm loving it a lot and for me this is a masterpiece this was my review about ermen from the house of Fazat Lebre Durange. I hope you like this review. I'm going to catch you in another review of another great product. Till then, put your scent on, stay fragrant, and bye.